Okay, so now we have a look at question three. Sorry, it's not question two, just uh, misnumbered. Um, so question three, we've got L1, I'm just writing out the late information. The question here is root three y minus x equals zero. We know that L2 is perpendicular, so we need to find the gradient of L1, but that means we need to rewrite it. So the first thing I'm going to do is rewrite it as root 3y equals x, and then y equals 1 over root 3x, because we're dividing both sides by root 3. best way to write that is 1 over root 3. So the gradient here is 1 over root 3, so my perpendicular gradient um, is going to be, this is positive, so it's going to be negative. 1 over root 3, the reciprocal, or flipping that upside down is root 3 over 1, or just root 3. So my perpendicular gradient is minus root 3, and that completes part A, because that is the gradient of L2. So that is what we're looking for which is gradient of L2. The angle L2 makes with the positive x-axis. Well, this is where we're remembering that M, in this case, our perpendicular gradient is equal to tan of theta, where we've got some line that we're working with, and this is the positive x-axis. So we're working out this angle in here is the one we're asked for. Now we're going to have a slightly weird answer in this case because we're going to get minus, so we're going to get tan theta equals minus root 3, theta equals tan to the minus 1 of minus root 3. Now this is going to be a slightly odd answer because actually my diagram wasn't terribly accurate. What's really going on is this thing is a negative gradient. And the angle that the calculator is going to turn out is this one in here, because we're going to get negative angle, and then we've got to find this one up here. Okay, so just to prepare you for what's coming up. Um, so we need to pop that in the calculator. Um, and then that gives us minus 60 degrees. So this angle here is 60 degrees, but we want that one there because we were asked for um, the positive, uh, calculate the angle L2 makes the positive direction of the x-axis. So this angle here is 120 degrees. And that's our answer that we're looking for there. Okay. If they asked for the acute angle, you would give the 60 degrees. Um, and actually, when I'm marking it, I might well accept both because of the way the question is written. Okay, but often make sure that you, you're aware that there are two possible angles that can be given as your answer.